Hey guys, Tommy here with the Off Grid Nation, and I got a special broadcast here today. Uh, I want to introduce to you a person by the name of Paul Munson, and he is the owner and proprietor of Sun Oven International. And the reason why we wanted to have him on today was I've been watching a lot of videos lately about solar cooking, and I'm real interested in it. You know, I got my whole off grid thing going. And um, I just didn't pull the trigger right away on it because I don't know what I'm doing. But after having a conversation with Paul, he said, don't worry about it. We have an educational webinar and we can do it for a whole group of people. So I thought, hey, why don't we have you on, talk a little bit about your product, and then we can announce the webinar date so everybody can join us, whether you have a sun oven or not, whether you're thinking about getting a solar oven, this might be something that folks are interested in. So uh, I want to introduce you to Paul. How you doing, Paul? Fantastic. Beautiful day. Yes. Now you're over in the heartland, right? Well, we're in Elburn, Illinois, about 40 miles west of Chicago. Ah, okay. All right. So how's the weather up there this time of year? Uh, well, it's been really cold, but uh, today we're actually getting to 60 degrees, so wow. we're excited. <laughs> so you've been uh, involved in solar cooking for how long? Uh, well, I've been making the sun ovens for the last 18 years, been involved with solar cooking for 19 years. So um, had been doing it for quite a while, I've had the, the opportunity to actually teach solar cooking on five different continents. So we have a lot of projects around the world, and we use the sales of the sun ovens in the U.S. to help us work in developing countries around the world. So we have great opportunity to let people in places where deforestation is a big issue or where women have and children inhale a lot of smoke that affects their health, we can have a positive effect on that. Excellent. So I was initially thinking about uh, a sun oven or solar cooking because I have this off-grid cabin and I'm trying to um, I'm trying to use means of cooking that maybe uh, uh, could be sustainable if I wasn't able to get propane or gas or that, that type of thing. But really, uh, from, as I'm researching this, I see that people are using this in their home uh, as, as a means to cook, whether they're off-grid or not. Are you seeing that in the business? Oh, yeah. A lot of people get sun ovens with the idea of being off-grid or being prepared for emergencies and then find out how good the food tastes in it as well as how much it reduces their utility bills. Um, you may not bake a lot of bread, but uh, people who do find that on a day when it's more than 80 degrees outside, hotter than 80 degrees, if you turn on your oven to bake bread, you use more you'll spend more money to cool your house than the cost of the bread and the energy to cook it combined. So when you can bake your bread outside or make your roasts outside, it really has a positive financial impact as well as there's just a lot of things that taste really great when they're cooked in the sun. Yeah, well, I mean, the whole idea about going green, I think, uh, I think this kind of encapsulates it. It allows you to harness the power of the sun. And anybody that's watched my channel before, you know that I'm a huge believer in solar power. And for where I'm at down in South Carolina on my property, it's a must. I don't have um, grid utilities. So I am using propane to cook right now, but I did go ahead and I, I got one of Paul's ovens. It's a sun oven from Sun Oven International. I haven't used it yet, but uh, be, be checking out my, my upcoming videos because I guarantee you there's going to be plenty of sun oven cooking in there. And uh, Paul, why don't you just tell us what we're going to learn about this uh, webinar that's coming up on May 12th. And we're going to do it uh, May 12th, which is a Thursday. It's a week from today at 7 p.m. Eastern. Give us an idea of what we're going to learn. Well, there's a lot you're going to learn about how to bake and boil and steam foods with the sun oven, but there's actually 13 different ways you can use a sun oven. You can use it to dehydrate, you can use it to boil or pasteurize water, and there's a whole lot of other ways that you can use it. So we're going to have a webinar class that lasts an hour, maybe a little longer than an hour, and it's going to be interactive so people can submit questions. And the idea behind the class is to let people know all the things they can do with the sun oven, how to do it, and hopefully break down any barriers that people might have of just not understanding how easy and fun and economical it is to cook with the sun. Now listen, a guy like me, I'm no culinary expert, okay? So I need this class. Otherwise, I'd just be taking a piece of meat, throwing it in a pot and just dumping it in the sun oven and hope that it comes out okay. So you're going to teach me how to cook in this thing? I'm going to teach you how to cook in it. And the wonderful thing is that if you really aren't a good cook, uh, 
when you cook in the sun, nothing burns. So you oh. can't screw anything up. Nothing burns and nothing dries out. It's about the most forgiving method of cooking you're ever going to find. And it's very unusual to have a method of cooking and say, hey, you'll never burn your dinner again. Now, I needed to hear that. And fellas, if you're thinking what I'm thinking, don't let that secret out that it's, that it's basically idiot proof because then our wives are going to be looking for <laughs> us to start pulling some of that load. So um, let's keep that on the down low, fellas. But uh, ladies, you're welcome, of course, too. Whether or not you have a sun oven, whether or not you were thinking about getting one, I guarantee you, you're going to pick up some tips that are going to be interesting and will help you in your overall preparedness. So uh, make sure to check it out. Paul, you have a website and I know your, your, uh, your products, the different products that are available are on your website. But um, we definitely want people to register for this webinar. So I'm going to put links in the description below and show up. Is there any cost to this class, Paul? There's no cost whatsoever, and uh, just just show up and it, it register in advance so you can be set up for the class. But then after that, there's no cost. You can just join us. And then if you're running late or miss it, we'll be sending out a link where you could watch a replay afterwards as well. Excellent. Okay, so it's a free. There's no cost. Uh, there's no obligation to buy anything. This is mostly an educational um, webinar where he's going to just teach us how to cook, um, and how to use because again, there's so many different things that you can do with this I'd be doing myself a disservice by taking this sun oven out to my off-grid location and Trying to use it. I need to learn how to use it. So um, and, and by the way because it's idiot proof I'm sure I'd be able to figure a few things out But he's gonna put us on the straight and narrow and on the fast track to where we can get all the benefits right off the bat, right? Exactly. And hopefully we'll have a lot of fun doing it. So, um, you know, I hope that as people submit questions, you can monitor their questions and ask questions as we go along. And so we can make it a lot of fun. I guess the only obligation is you got to listen to me for an hour. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Paul, one of the things that I liked about your product was the fact that it's, it's made in the USA, right? Yes, it's made in the USA, and all the component parts for it except the thermometer are made in the U.S. So we have a pretty simple business model. Our goal is to just to help people in the U.S. save energy and prepare for emergencies. We use a portion of that to work around the world, but uh, we really feel somewhat hypocritical if we were going to say to people, we're going to help you prepare for an emergency, but then we're going to import things from China. So yeah. we make the sun ovens in Illinois. They're shipped in the U.S. and all the parts except the thermometer are made in the U.S. Now, I'm curious, I got to ask, why not the thermometer? Aren't we making that here in this country? Unfortunately, seven years ago, the last manufacturer that made them in the U.S. stopped and we cannot find a manufacturer in the U.S. who makes a thermometer that will work. Unbelievable. Well, I'm glad there's still people like you, entrepreneurs, that actually are employing Americans, that actually are manufacturing products in the United States of America. And guys, again, if you listen to my channel, you know my mantra. Um, I don't think change in this country is going to happen from the top down. I think it's going to happen from the ground up, from the bottom up. And we have choices every single day. We get to vote every single day in this country with our dollars. And one of the choices, one of the changes I'm making in my personal little sphere of influence that I can control is I'm trying to make better choices in how and where and who I spend my money with. And I'm trying to buy American as much as I can because it's one thing for me to say we need to keep jobs in this country, but if I turn around and spend all my money on products that are manufactured overseas and assembled overseas, I'm not putting my money where my mouth is. So um, if you are in the market for something like this, uh, definitely uh, Paul's product, Sun Oven, is manufactured here in this country and all the parts, except for the thermometer, is also manufactured here in the United States. So that's good to know. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I hope all you guys can take some time out and join us and see what we learn and have a little bit of fun. Thanks, Paul, for coming on. We really appreciate it. Thanks. See you next Thursday. See you next week.